The redesigned 2016 Honda Civic is the best car for you if you want an economical compact that sure doesn't act like one. Hardly looks like one either thanks to the sleek new styling and it's climbed back into contention for the best all-round driving car in the segment. This is the first all-new Civic since the 2012 model which was a sales hit but a critical bomb. That taught Honda a valuable lesson. The company applied what it learned to create a small car that's remarkably roomy and feels incredibly upscale. Is it right for you? I'm Chuck Giametta. Join me for a car preview video review of the 2016 Honda Civic. Accord and CRV outsell it, but Honda's sentimental about the Civic. It considers it the symbol of its ability to bring great engineering to the masses. That image took a hit with the last generation Civic. It debuted with dull road manners and a cheap interior. Emergency updates helped, but it's this 2016 redesign that restores the company's Civic pride. Longer, lower, wider, it looks like it costs a lot more than a car with an average price of $23,000. This front end would be at home on an Acura from Honda's premium division. Every model gets LED daytime running lights and turn signals. The top line Touring has LED headlamps too. These swollen haunches give it some muscle, this fastback roof line some sophistication, and these C-shaped tail lamps look distinctive if a little out of scale. The structure is more rigid and the suspension uses components typically found on larger, more expensive cars. The wheelbase, the distance between the front and rear axles, grows more than an inch, expanding legroom, and trunk space is now among best in class. Both engines are new. LX and EX models have a 2.0-liter 4-cylinder with 15 more horsepower than last year's base engine. You can get it with a manual transmission in the LX, otherwise it links to a continuously variable automatic transmission known as a CVT. Other Civics get a 1.5-liter 4-cylinder. It's the first turbocharged engine in a U.S. market Honda, and it comes only with the CVT. Any combination rates at the top of the class for fuel economy, at least 40 miles per gallon on the highway and over 30 city highway combined. And Honda doesn't require or recommend premium octane gas for the turbo. You're going to like it in here. The cabin feels modern and upscale, and there's a precision to the controls that's way beyond this price class. Gone is the previous Civic's goofy two-tier instrument panel, replaced by a dashboard that, like the rest of the car, seems more grown up. The LX has a 5-inch dashboard screen, the others get this 7-inch display that's your portal to Android Auto and Apple CarPlay with Siri voice recognition. These systems will display your smartphone's navigation app, but to access GPS mapping where there's no cell signal, you'll need the integrated navigation that's standard only on the Touring and optional only on the EXL. With or without nav, the 7-inch display employs Honda's touch-sensitive audio system. Adjusting volume on the screen is a pain, but this steering wheel control is a creative alternative. There's plenty of interior storage space, and the EXL model, like this top-line Touring, comes with leather upholstery. All but the two least expensive models have heated front seats. Every Civic gets upscale touches like automatic climate control and an electronic parking brake. All but the LX feature the convenience of keyless entry with push-button ignition. This roomy back seat is a selling point. The cushion is supportive, and overall comfort is better than in some midsize cars. Safety features are another selling point. This is one of the few compact cars that doesn't reserve driver assistance for the most expensive models. The Honda Sensing Safety System is standard on the Touring and a very reasonable $1,000 option on all but the manual transmission LX. It includes collision avoiding automatic braking, cruise control that maintains a set distance from traffic ahead, and automatic steering to keep you in your lane. 
Every model has a rear view camera, but rear cross traffic detection isn't offered, and EXL buyers must choose navigation or Honda sensing. To get both at that luxury level, Honda forces you into the touring model. That's among our short list of gripes, and it's overshadowed by just how well this new Civic drives. It goes down the road with the poise of a bigger car. It's quiet, it's composed in corners, and the steering is meaty and linear. Like most base engines in this class, Civics will get you around town and onto the expressway with little drama, but without much excitement. The turbo in the more expensive models is livelier and worth the extra money. 90% of Civic buyers choose the CVT, and it's the best in the business, with hardly any of the lag or surging typical of these kinds of transmissions. While this new Civic is a paragon of refinement, it doesn't quite match the moves of the sporty leaders in this class, the Mazda 3 and Volkswagen Golf. Honda will address that for the 2017 model year with addition of the 200 horsepower SI model, followed by the 300 horsepower Civic Type R. It's also expanding the line. A coupe joined the sedan in late 2016, and a hatchback is on the way too. Only sedan prices were announced in time for this review, and they're very inviting. The sweet spot is an EXT with the Honda Sensing Safety System at around 25.5, though the fully equipped Touring is a tempting value at around 27.3. This new Civic shapes up as one of those rare cars that's popular with the public and the pundits. If you're in the market for a new compact or even a mid-size sedan, don't buy without checking this one out too. And for more on this and other cars, trucks, and SUVs, go to carpreview.com and please subscribe to our Car Preview YouTube channel.